Murray, Hart, DiVincenzo, Johnson, and Robinson all on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today. It is Thursday, April 4th. We're talking FanDuel and we're doing it after this. But first, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live and follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. But the best thing you can do is sign up at Stochastic. NBA's going nowhere. While the regular season is about to end, playoffs are coming and we go nowhere. Projections and ownership are boom bust tool. Sims, the lineup generator, the contest generator, premium discord, and more. If you're interested in signing up for the NBA, there's a link in the description for you. First up at number five, we've got PJ Washington. He is power forward center eligible, 6,200 projected for 26. The goal is 30. He's in the winning lineup 32% of the time. We have no Derek Lively here tonight. That could be a mild benefit for Washington. I got him in for 32 minutes, 0.8 fantasy points per minute. Amazing matchup here against Atlanta, who does not have a very good defense. 11 and a half points, six boards, an assist and a half, two stocks. What we really need from PJ Washington is for him to finally make some threes. DeAndre Hunter in at number four on the opposite side. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 6,100. Projected 27. Goal 29 and a half. He's in the winning lineup 35% of the time. Now, this is a big pace up spot for Atlanta. They've been playing much slower since Trey Young has been out. 17 points, four rebounds, two assists, and a stock for Hunter. The minutes are finally there. He seems to be healthy now. He's playing around 33 minutes a night. Going to be in and around 0.8 to 0.85 fantasy points per minute. Assuming he plays, Jonathan Kaminga in at number three. Small forward, power forward, eligible, 6,600. Projected for 32. The goal is 31. He's in the winning lineup 38% of the time. Kind of a tough matchup against Houston. They're just, it's not the pace up matchup you want. It's not the bad defense matchup you want. 19 points, six boards, two assists, plus a stock and a half. We just need him to play, but he's going to be around 30 minutes, and he's going to be right around a fantasy point per minute. We don't have a lot of value on this slate. Only four games on FanDuel. Dante Exum in at number two. Point guard, shooting guard eligible, 4,200. Projected for 15. The goal is 23. I got him in the winning lineup 43% of the time. We just don't have pay down options right now. We're going to need some more value. Seven points, three assists, two and a half boards, and almost a stock for Exum. Around 0.7 fantasy points per minute. None of it is appealing right now. But we don't have any other ways to pay down. And the expensive guys and the pay down guys run hand in hand. My number one contender for today is Dylan Brooks. I could hear the groans already. But remember, this is a four game slate. You got to put nine guys in your roster no matter what. Shooting guard, small forward eligible. Nice. 4,700 projected for 20. The goal is 25. Winning lineup 50% of the time. I went 28 minutes. He's a 0.7 fantasy point per minute dude. Facing off the Warriors. Middle of the pack defense. Middle of the pack pace. 12 and a half points three boards, two assists, and a stock. And I think it's just a better output right now. With no Shingun on the floor, we get a little bit more spacing for Dylan Brooks. But the real appeal here, shooting guard and small forward on a day like today, that kind of fit is massive. And that's why we're getting to Dylan Brooks. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, April 4th. DraftKings version around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. Nothing from me tomorrow. I'm back again Monday morning for another edition of The Contenders.